Hello, my name is Yin Bao. I'm currently a research group leader in the Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences and ETH Zurich. Thanks a lot for the uh, invitation from the American Association for Advances in Functional Materials. It's a great pleasure for me to present our recent results in this conference. Today, I will talk about the color tuning of single fluorophore emission by polymerization mediated charge transfer. So, and we know organic or polymeric fluorescent polymers have exhibited a great potential in uh, different type of applications, including uh, biomedical or optoelectronics, such as the light emitting device, fluorescent sensing, the fluorescent encryption, and bioimaging probes because of the uh, biocompatibility and also the flexible synthesis of the polymeric or organic systems. So it's essential to tune the fluorescent color uh, of these uh, materials uh, for different uh, applications and also for the fundamental research. So normally we can achieve this uh, multicolor vision by either the fluorophore uh, derivatization or the fluorophore combination. So for the, for the first stage, normally you, you can manipulate in the intramolecular uh, don't accept charge transfer by uh, mo um, modulating the chemical structures. And for the second strategy, normally you combine different fluorophores, fluorophores to achieve different colors. Recently, uh, there is a, a system uh, called uh, through space charge transfer polymers developed, developed by the group of professor uh, Wang Yixiang. And by uh, using two different types of monomers as electron donor or electron acceptor, uh, by chewing the different uh, chemical structures, this uh, uh, through space charge transfer between the donor monomer and acceptor monomer can be manipulated, resulting in different emission colors. So normally they are based on the design of two different uh, monomers. And this uh, strategy was also further uh, developed by other groups. So we can see uh, this system, including the uh, dual fluorophore strategy, like uh, you have two different fluorophores, one as donor and the other as acceptor. By uh, the chemical design, you can achieve the uh, variation of the emission color changes. So we are thinking because for the design of this uh, complex uh, monomers, it requires multi-step synthesis. We want to uh, think about uh, a simpler uh, strategy, but also can produce the systematic uh, emission color manipulation. So we propose our strategy based on the single fluorophore through space charge transfer polymer. So we would use the uh, fluorophore or the fluorescent molecule as a uh, initiate for polymerization, and we choose the commercial available donor type monomers as the uh, donor for uh, through space charge transfer. So by this method, we can just uh, uh, use very simple uh, polymerization strategies to tune the emission color of the uh, solid state polymers. So we first use the nephrophilin dye in mind as the uh, fluorophore scaffold. We functionalize the fluorophore with uh, to uh, ATIP initiating groups. So interestingly, this molecule is AIE active. Uh, we can see on the uh, organic solvent is non-emissive, but in solid state or aggregate state is high emissive. And importantly, we observe this uh, uh, different emission in, of this molecule in aromatic solvents. When we increase the uh, electron donating ability of the uh, solvents, we can see there is a significant redshift from blue to yellow when increasing the uh, uh, donor uh, uh, donating ability. And when we perform the ATRP based on this initiator using different type of monomers, also with increasing electron donating ability, we also see the poly polymer matrix uh, showed the uh, redshift solid emission. So this uh, is a uh, uh, similar to our observation in the, in the uh, aromatic solvents. And all of these polymers are uh, AIE active and depends on the uh, electron donating ability of the uh, monomers, we can see they show different uh, colors. 
And we observed a, a phenomenon is that when we prepare the blue emissive polymers, we sometimes also can observe the yellow color, yellow color of the emission. But this is uh, hard to control. Then we carefully revisited the characteristic data of the polymers. We found that during some polymerization and high temperature, this brom bromo group at the end of polymer chain can be uh, reduced or can be uh, removed during the polymerization and form this vinyl benzene uh, structure. And this vinyl benzene structure can act as a stronger electron donor, uh, electron donor than the mon mon monomeric units and induced a new through space charge transfer state and then alter the uh, fluorescent colors. So we control this uh, uh, conversion of the end group by the specific reaction. We can see when we increase in the conversion of this end group, we can see the color uh, of the polymers changes from blue to yellow green. And this uh, is uh, very well correlated to this uh, end group effect. So we also try different the chain length of these polymer systems. When increasing the polymer chain length, we found that this uh, end group effect was reduced because when we increase the polymer chain length, the end, end group and the fluorophyll is uh, further uh, than the short polymer chains. So this uh, charge transfer efficiency was uh, decreased. This is uh, reasonable. Then we also investigated other uh, systems. We also uh, observed the similar phenomena. We were increasing the uh, end group conversion. We can see the more significant uh, emission color change. And this uh, uh, emission color change is dependent on the polymer chain lens because of this uh, through space charge transfer. So this is not difficult to understand. Even in the molecular structure, the donor and acceptor is far from each other. In the solid state or the aggregated state, they can have a much higher possibility to interact with each other. So the both interchain and interchain through space charge transfer could be more efficient than the uh, sol sol soluble state. And that's why we don't observe this type of emission in the organic solvent, but only observed in the solid state or the aggregate state. Then we further use the TDDFT to calculate the ground states of these uh, polymer systems by using a simplified models, including only four repeating units for each type of polymer. We can see uh, for the system, both before end group and uh, after end group transformation, there is an uh, increasing of the home energy when we increase the electron donating ability. And more interestingly, when we uh, uh, perform the debromination step, we can see the, the homo, en uh, homo uh, 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 rabbitos, orbitals uh, migrated from the polymer, polymeric units to the end groups. This can induce a significant uh, increase of the home energy and further uh, induce the uh, uh, fluorescent emission. We further use a uh, uh, molecular dynamic, but uh, dynamics uh, simulation in combination with the TDDFT to calculate the ex excitation wavelengths of the aggregate model from our system. So we can see after the depromination uh, in this aggregate model, there is a dimer structure formed between the NDI fluorophore and the uh, uh, the end, end group transform transformation induced the vinyl bending structure. And this structure can uh, induce a significant uh, redshift of the uh, system. So this is uh, respons uh, responsible for the uh, emission color variation. So because of this um, through space charge transfer. Then to achieve the, uh, even a, a simpler uh, strategy to achieve two di uh, different emission colors, we performed the one step polymerization and the higher uh, polymerization temperature. Then we can achieve different polymer chain length and also high level of the end group conversion at the same time. So by this method, we can change the emission color by simply 
uh, increasing the molecular weight, we can see the color change from the yellow to blue. And the emission wavelength is almost linear with the repeating units of the polymerization. Then we further use a, a versatile photolithography method to confirm this mechanism of the end group effect. We perform the film preparation by this uh, uh, polymer with uh, vinyl uh, benzene group to form a yellow green uh, emissive film. Then under the uh, uh, mask with a ETH logo shape, we perform the uh, UV irradiation on the film and uh, form this uh, ETH logo with blue light emission because of the uh, vinyl uh, group was broken by the uh, photo initiation. So this can confirm further the end group of our system. So overall, uh, we, based on this uh, single fluorophore through space charge transfer polymer system, we have three different ways to tune the uh, fluorescent color em uh, fluorescent emission color in the solid state, either by um, changing the monomers or by the uh, transform transform the end chain groups or just simply uh, tune the molecular weight of the polymers. So now I can uh, come to the conclusion. Based on the previous research, we uh, developed a general strategy for tuning the uh, multicolor emission of polymers in solid state. And this is based on the single flow for through space charge transfer uh, system. Um, and we observed this unexpected end group transformation that can induce a molecularly remote don't accept uh, interactions. And we believe this strategy could have a wide potential applications, both in biomedical application and optoelectronics. And recently, we found that this strategy can be uh, used to expand the tunability, uh, expand the emission color from blue to red and even near infrared region. And with this, I want to thank my students for performing the experiment and also our collaborators for the modeling, and uh, especially for my boss, Professor Ran Christoulou, for the uh, great spot, and also the financial spot from ETH Zurich, the FCG Foundation, and the Swiss National Science Foundation. And with this, I want to thank you very much for your attention, and I would be happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.